everybody how's it going so today I'm here with the Opteca RC-3 wireless IR or infrared remote for my Sony a500 DSLR camera and I decided to invest in one of these remotes because at times I want to take maybe a self-portrait picture or a group photo and I don't want to have the hassle of maybe setting up the timer and running back into the photo when I could just activate the shutter by remote and uh, it's listed on Amazon for $6.95 uh, I paid about total $12 out the door for this thing because of the $5 shipping fee uh, there's no tax so that's not too bad but overall uh, fairly happy with it right now just got it in yesterday this is the box that it comes in of course uh, other than that it does come in the larger Amazon but box. anyways what's in there is obviously the remote itself and a small little paper manual which indicates how to set it up on your camera, uh, the battery life, the range which is uh, 16 feet in total. Now I haven't tested that myself personally but I will hopefully soon and if you have any questions about that just let me know and I'll answer right back or I'll put in the description on how it works at that range. Battery life I think is about 10,000 shots. Moving the box aside onto the remote. It's got this plastic glossy finish on the top and on the back. Um, I also do have another protector on it. Original protector but it is glossy black so I guess they're trying to look, go for a nice look on it but still sort of cheap in a way. And on the remote itself is just a shutter button which will make the camera focus if you have it in autofocus mode and then um, release the shutter or a two second timer to the shutter it will also still autofocus and then give off the two second timer which work which your camera will beep at and then uh, activate the shutter now this remote works for most Sony Alpha cameras uh, I have the a500 and looking online it says it works with even the newer ones like the uh, a33 a55 and it says NEX5 so I guess it works with the NEX series too or only that NEX5 not the newer NEX series but um, yeah looking at it most of them work A900, A850 the newer series you can look at those um, it's all listed online so you can definitely look and see if it uh, works with your camera or not and it also does replace the RMT-DSLR1 Sony remote so um, that one's about $25 I guess you're saving a little bit here Anyways, uh, in this video, I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to set it up on your camera, which is fairly easy. And then I'll show you how it works, and that'll be overall it. Alright, so looking at my camera screen, what you have to do is just have it in any mode. I have it in program right now. You can set it to even uh, aperture priority or shutter priority if you want to. I'll just keep it in program for now. And what you want to do is on the side of the camera, press the FN or function button and then that will go into your shutter mode. Now usually if you don't have it on remote commander because you don't have remote yet it will be in single shot or high um, speed continuous so either one or even the timer at times but let's just say normally it's on single shot so just press function go into uh, drive mode you can go up all the way down to remote commander it might be a little bit different for your camera but that's the way it works for the A500. Select Remote Commander and you're ready to go. No setup need for the remote. It just activates the infrared uh, sensor on the camera itself. And All right, it. so now I'm just going to show you how it works with the camera. Now I'm only going to be a couple inches away, but like the manual says, you have up to 16 feet without obstacles for this remote to work. I haven't personally tested that myself, but I will. But anyways, um, so I believe that uh, uh, infrared sensor, our sensor is located right here on the camera with, in the grip and as you can see the shutter release is right here yeah um, so I'm not gonna press that I'm just gonna use the remote so shutter it'll focus and then it'll release the shutter should probably lift this a little bit up there you go and then uh, the two second it'll actually focus and then do this two second timer and then release the shutter. So it's refocus and then it just sets up the two timer, two second timer and then shutter release. So uh, pretty convenient. So yeah coming to the end of the video um, overall it's a good deal for the price. Uh, fairly happy with it and hopefully I'll be able to use it a lot more within some time because I'm sort of getting back into photography. Just amateur stuff, uh, nothing professional but you know just um, fiddling around with this stuff. Anyways, if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to let me know. I check daily, so 
Uh, you, usually you'll get a reply within a day or less than a day and uh, should be really quick. And other than that, uh, thank you for watching.